hi guys how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel my name is paula nanya and today i'm going to be talking about something very interesting and that is how to get rid of your dark circles okay and guys please if you're new to my channel here we do all things skincare and lifestyle and um if you're returning thank you very much for coming back to watch my videos i really appreciate it please don't forget to like this video don't forget to give me a dreadful comment ask your questions down below i'll be really 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 happy to answer your questions and please if you've not subscribed please do so now also anyway guys so today i really want to talk about dark circles dark circles are those darkness around the eye or all around the eye so and we want to talk about this we want to know what they um what is basically and how to get rid of them or if there's any way at all anything at all you need to know about it i'll be discussing about it in this video okay so if you're interested in that keep watching let's jump into the conversation right now and the first thing i want to talk about is what is dark circle so dark circles occur when the skin under the eye is noticeably darkened okay so this is when your under eye gets dark you notice that there's like a shadow on it so that is what a dark circle is so it goes all the way around the eye to like up the eye it's some for some people is really distinct you 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 cannot not, not notice it just by looking at the person on the first look okay so that is what dark circle is and there are three types of dark circle yeah i know i, I, I a lot of people do not even know that there are types of this dark circles so we always treat them the same way so it's necessary for us to know the three different types and also ways to tackle them so we don't go and do method a for method b and method b for method a and expecting results so if you've been wondering why your dark circles have not been going you're about to find out right now in this video the very first um type of dark circle is vexular dark circle that is basically um when we age right so the skin around our eye becomes too thin it thins out so its ability to hide blood cells beneath the eyes would um diminish so it wouldn't be able to hide the blood the blood cells anymore so it thins out it's when you start noticing that you see some um purple or, or blue hello on the under the eyes okay so if you've seen people who are who are aging you kind of like be like you're seeing their blood this the, the blood vessels around the eye it becomes more prominent yeah that is what vascular um dark circle is okay and um i'm going to be telling you the treatment for vascular dark circle so the first one is using caffeine caffeine is really good and retinoid retinoid is actually very good for vascular dark circle okay and um also laser treatment yeah um and i don't really specialize in anything laser just because um I feel that you need to know more about it it's not just by reading the directions and then that's what you should do so my own different i'm i'm a little bit more um mm, my, let me just say it let's just say that i'm a manual esthetician i deal more with products and you know the manual way of doing these things than the technology 
the technology way of doing them okay so i've not really advanced into using machines lasers you know all those devices all those things i'm not really advanced if i want to go dive into that then i will go for another training to you know start to use all of those things but for now i'm still doing the manual method of getting rid of all these things as like products and you know using if your hands and manipulations all those things that's what i use i do right now so when we're talking about the caffeine or retinoid rather let us look for products that have that are retinoid eye cream okay not saying that your regular retinoid for the face should be used under the eye no there are eye creams now in the market there are various types of them actually and you would see the ones that would that are tailored for eye cream so if you see any eye cream definitely you would see the one that has retinoid the one that has caffeine i know inklings inklings has um the ordinary has eye cream it has for you know caffeine it has caffeine inklings has inklings um caffeine eye cream inclin uh inclics um i think retinol retinol eye cream so they have the two types of eye cream actually so you can go and purchase any one there are a lot of other um brands that have eye creams um um Cetaphe has um um trying to remember other ones i don't know if polar choice has um Neutrogena, I think Neutrogena has an eye cream. Neutrogena. The second type of dark circle that I want to talk about is structural dark circle. Structural dark circle is basically um, genetic. It's the way your 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 face is structured, the structure of your face or the structure of your bone, the bridge, the bridge of your nose or your brows, the ridge of your your brows. You know that these people that the people that have like that those like deep eye. If you notice, they always have like a a dark circle around. It's because of the way their eye is structured, so it makes it appear as though. They have dark circles underneath their eye. The facial bone structure is the cause of that one that you have underneath your eye. And that is why you would basically feel like this person has, you know, dark, um, dark circle. Yeah, just because of the structure. You see the eye is like a bit inside. The structure is more out. Like their, the bridge of their nose or their brows is more out. And then the facial structure makes it, it, it to imitate the, the appearance of darkness just under their eye. So that is what structure dark circle is. And if you want to know how to test to check if you have structural dark circle there's a way yeah so um you should do in an eye stretch test that is where you pull the skin in um, beneath your eye you pull the skin beneath your eye towards your cheek so you pull it this way pull it this way towards your cheek and this is your cheek right so you pull it this way and if the darkness underneath your eye or the pigmentation underneath your eye improves like it doesn't look that dark it doesn't look so dark then definitely you have structural um dark circle yeah that is the easiest way to do it just pull the skin underneath your eye towards your cheek and if the uh, pigmentation under your eye looks or appears a little bit lighter or appears lighter than it actually is when you free it then that means you have structure that circle okay so definitely go and check if you suspect that it's because of the way your eye is structured that is why you your eyes kind of appear dark go and do the test and let me know in the comment section okay so now we're going to go over to treatment so um for this particular type of um dark circle you actually cannot use uh, topical um treatments or products yeah definitely it would not help at all because it is the way your eye is being structured so what is going to help you is when you go through a procedure right so you have to go through a procedure 
which will help you i think it's called fat transfer or derma filling okay so there's fat transfer and derma filling so those are the two procedures that you can go through if you have you know if you have that issue and you want to get rid of it if you're not comfortable with the situation then you can definitely get rid of it through that method but using products might not really do much since it's just because of the structure and that is why it's looking that way then you really do not you cannot do much for it okay so now the last type of um dark circle we're going to be talking about is pigmented dark circle okay and you guys know that this one is is more like what a lot of people are doing pigmented dark circle is caused by the production of melanin so your melanin is being like active is being too active around your eye and this can be caused by allergies it can be caused by sun exposure it can be caused by lack of sleep it can be caused by um working it, it, stress it could be caused by stress it could be caused by smoking also so if you have any of this conditions or if you have any of this um yeah conditions then you should know that you definitely have pigmented dark um, circles if you're going through any of these struggles okay and then if you also want to get, do an eye test or eye, eye stretch test to find out if you actually have dark if you have actually have um pigmented dark circles then you should also do the same thing where you stretch out you stretch out towards your cheek and then if the darkness still remains under your eye then definitely that is if the pigmentation still remains then that is pigmented dark circles definitely so if you stretch it no matter what you do you still see the darkness yeah that's what it is and you need to get treatment immediately so you should definitely invest in eye creams eye serums whichever one it is and i have a couple of tips that are sorry a couple of um products or ingredients that you need if you want to get rid of it the first one is retinoid retinoid yes retinoid is really important and another one is alpha abutin I thought abutin is really good for you know pigments and all of that. Then vitamin C, then hyaluronic, and also niacinamide. So and please, you know that you need to always you know keep that place hydrated at all times. So you use all these ingredients which are for fighting pigmentation, and then you will be fine you'll be good so go look for um niacinamide you can use niacinamide toners you can use azelaic uh, you know lotion or sorry i think it's it's a cream or it's a serum whichever one you can lay your hands on in clicks is there for your eye cream your you have um ole ole is there ole has i think ole has an eye cream here and so many many other um in brands have eye creams also so i don't want to give you a particular one that is why i'm giving you ingredients then you can go and check from your vendors or anybody or you know yeah your vendors definitely will tell you which one will be better for you to use so those are the key ingredients for dark spots when it comes to pigmented dark um, circles okay pigmented dark circles okay anyway guys so the very final thing i want to tell you guys about the tips that you need to follow up if you're trying to get rid of this condition okay and that's the first one will be to avoid rubbing your eye if you know you have either any type of the dark circles avoid rubbing your eye it's very important get enough sleep sleep is going to help for your pigmented dark circles you really need to get enough sleep it's very important it will improve the general health of your skin in fact and then if you are not using a sunscreen it's very important that you need to get a sunscreen so you remember that the pigmentation is because of 
exposure to sun so you need to get a sunscreen in as much as you use your eye cream once you're done using your eye cream then you use your sunscreen to protect yourself from the sun if you're going to be out and about under the sun and always reapply your sunscreen another thing is when you're going out please wear glasses okay sun shades would help to limit the heat of the sun to your eye and you know cause pigmented dark circles so use hydrated hydrating products also for underneath your eye and generally your face use hydrating um there's hyaluronic um there's um vitamin c you know and um which one again there's glycerin you know these are hydrating products i want to say also i want to say reduce your intake of salt and alcohol it will help to give you the you know to improve the appearance of the eye for just a temporary um treatment not anything permanent or serious you should definitely get cool compressions underneath your eye maybe when you're back it will help for the vascular and the structural um, dark circles it will definitely help just temporarily not like it's a permanent solution that's basically everything i have for you guys today please follow everything i have said accordingly and you'll see results and if you have any questions concerning anything if it's about this particular topic let me know in the comment section and if it's about any other outside topic outside all of this let me know in the comment section i'll be there waiting to respond to your questions Thank you very much don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel and bye guys